we're going to spend some time talking about one particular statement that Euclid made when he was writing his elements of geometry a very very long time ago and so we talked about these already some parts of these as you can see the entire book is 500 and some pages long but um, in book one which are the fundamentals of plane geometry and this is not planes meaning boring or um, just you know not interesting plane means flat surface as we already talked about in the basics of geometry video we went through and looked at these definitions and matched up the numbers to a lot of the definitions that we use today but now we're gonna go past the definitions and look at the postulates and one postulate in particular postulate number five and this is called as you already know from the title of the video this is called the parallel postulate but let's read it in the original translation and then we're actually going to update the language to modern day language and uh, and see what it's actually saying and that if a straight line falling across two other straight lines makes internal angles on the same side of itself whose sum is less than two right angles then the two other straight lines being produced to infinity meet on that side of the original straight line that the sum of the internal angles is less than the two right angles and do not meet on the other side so yes you're right that is extremely confusing luckily we have people who have been able to translate it into modern language and I have that modern language right here given any straight line and a point not on it there exists one and only one straight line which passes through that point and never intersects the first line no matter how far they are extended okay that is getting at something that's a little bit easier to understand so let's think about this and the reason that we're looking at this specifically in an entire video dedicated to itself is that this is this was a big deal when Euclid said this this actually differentiates the geometry that we are learning from all other kinds of geometry and that's flat geometry or plane geometry p-l-a-n-e the geometry of flat surfaces and it's the only one that this is true in so I'm going to show you exactly what this means in flat geometry and then we're going to look at some types of geometry where it is not true okay so the the parallel postulate is saying if I have any straight line and so here I'm using um, GeoGebra I have a line any straight line okay uh, and actually let me um, just to make this very obvious here I'm just gonna get rid of all this stuff okay let's just do a straight line okay any straight line so notice that I'm really looking at any straight line so there's a line okay and a point not on that line so here we have a point okay so here's what we have any straight line and a point not on it there exists one and only one straight line which passes through this point and never intersects the first line no matter how far they are extended so let's create let's construct a parallel line here okay and it's going to be parallel to this line and notice I'm bringing notice these are parallel now that means they have the same slope as we learned in algebra last year it means they never intersect they never cross no matter how far out you go way to infinity or negative infinity they're always going to be side by side with the same slope and never cross each other so here is this line and notice that all of these lines are parallel I'm moving this line and it's always parallel to the first line but it's never going through that point and the only way I can do both parallel and through that point is that line right there and so I just made it another line okay and you can see that that line is the only way I'm gonna satisfy parallel 
and through this point. So this is really unique to flat geometry. So let's look at some examples of something that is not this case. Here I have a program called Spherical Easel and what this does is it allows you to plot things on a sphere and I want you to imagine you have a globe in front of you that is clear plastic. Okay, just imagine a sphere, a globe that is all clear plastic and has no writing on it or anything. And imagine if you tried to draw a line on this sphere, it would look something like that. Okay, and I'm just going to rotate this to show you a little bit more. Do you see what I'm talking about now? It's kind of coming around. Here's the front. It goes around the back and it's faded out because we can't see it right there. It's coming around the front again. I can kind of rotate this there it's right near the edge of what I can see imagine a ball right and I'm coming around the other side now and I'm coming around and it's just twisting around like this and I'm twisting the sphere around okay so that's a line because it's a straight line right this line that's blue is straight now let me find a point and I'm gonna put this point over here somewhere some other point now the parallel postulate says, okay, the parallel postulate says that you need a straight line and a point not on it, and then if you have a straight line and a point not on it, then there exists only one straight line which passes through that point that never intersects the first line. So we need to have a straight line and a point. Now you may say, wait a minute, but this line that I drew is not straight. Well, imagine this. We're on the Earth, right? And if I start walking right now, and I was a Superman, and I was able to walk across oceans and mountains and everything and without stopping, and I could always go straight. Or imagine if I fly in the sky like, uh, like Superman, right? And I'm flying in a perfectly straight line over the entire world. I'm going to start here at my house and I'm going to start going in one direction and if I never change directions I'll come over here and maybe I'm in China over here and I'm coming back across the Pacific Ocean across California, the Midwest and I'm back here at home. And you cannot tell me that I did not make a straight line. It just happened to wrap all the way around the earth, right? So we do indeed have a straight line and a point not on that line. Now let me draw another line okay let me draw another line and I want it to be through this point you see what I did there I went it's a line through that point but the problem that we have now is if I if I rotate my sphere now they're intersecting they're intersecting there and if I go all the way around the earth again they're intersecting right here so wait a minute, wait a minute, let me go back to my points here, let me spin this back around here. So I have two lines, they're both straight lines, right, they're both straight lines. And I have a point, it's not on the line, but I cannot draw, I cannot draw a second line that's parallel to the first line. It never crosses that first line. They're going to cross right there, and they're going to cross over here on the back side of the earth. There and there. They're going to cross twice, actually. Now, you may say, well, wait a minute. What if you actually draw one like, an, like a latitude mark on a globe, and we come around here, and we say something like this. Oops. Sorry. Oops. I, I'm clicking the wrong button here. Undo. Undo, 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 undo. Let's say, okay, let's say that I was able to draw, and you're thinking, oh, what if I just do another slice out of the top here, right? What if I draw a circle like this, and I was able to somehow move it way up here to the top and put it right on the North Pole Oops, move. And I was able to put it right on the North Pole so that, you see where I'm getting at here? So that they're kind of parallel now. And so I really have two lines that are parallel. Do you see how I have this line here? 
and it's parallel to my original line and they're not crossing and the points not on there but think about what this line here actually is it's not a straight line because if I start at this point right there if that was my starting point and I draw a line from it I'm gonna it's 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 gonna go a straight around the equator right it's gonna go straight around the equator and it's not going to be like this thing is this is actually a curve this is actually a curve because if I want to travel on this route I have to keep turning one direction to make it all the way around so the spherical uh, geometry does not have parallel lines okay so that's why it's very unique to flat surfaces 